in closing, these last four years of Maine Township, December 18, 2018, Park Ridge Herald reported that Maine Township Board voted three to two in favor of cutting two levies by 5% less than the previous year's levies. Remember that? Let's give the taxpayers a bit of a deal where for every dollar they give us, we give them back five cents. March 9, 2019, the McHenry County blog joined the Daily Herald in reporting that Maine Township trustees voted for an unprecedented tax abatement, a move that will save taxpayers over $1.2 million. The township decided this for the first time ever, states the blog. For the December 16, 2019 meeting, Park Ridge Herald reported that, quote, tempers flared, end of quote, and the result is that the tax levy was cut more than $1.15 million. February 25, 2020, Park Ridge Herald Advocate also reported that Maine Township Board abated $2.4 million of that fiscal year, nearly a $4 million tax levy. And in 2021, it's three times the charm for cutting the fiscal year's tax levy by $2.2 million. We thought we got it done February 23, but it something came up February 24. So we brought it back again with the board's help and thought we definitely got it done on March 30. And I celebrated with my main township residents as we, the board signed off in the abatement and off it went to the powers that be. But yet again, on April 19, 2021, something came up again and it was then set on our agenda for today. So today at our final meeting of this board, it can be reported that it was done, done and done. The Park Ridge Herald Associate reported this month that during their time on the township board, Sweeney, Carabota, and McKenzie have supported measures to lower annual tax levies and cut township budget. That the April 27th board meeting is the final meeting of the current board after four years marked with conflict and fighting. Why conflict and why is it all out in the open? This is a classic example of enjoying the reward without giving attention to the struggles in how we got here, got here in the first place. It's all out in the open because that's how it should be as recognized by our Illinois legislature when they passed the Open Meetings Act, which our lawyer referenced this evening. It's required by law. Over these four years, this board accomplished for the first time having all of our meetings taped and published so that you can go back and view them at any time convenient to your personal schedule and see and hear for yourself rather than relying on interpretations of others. We also, for the first time, accomplished our board packets and agenda being posted online, being our before our meetings for easy review and participation and so much more. Okay, so it's out in the open. Why the conflict? Jeff Walshborn of Starborn Leadership Consulting said it best. Debate and discussion is a healthy part of board meetings. Life is easier when a board meeting is conducted through a lack of objections, where it follows a mechanical structure of happily nodding as proposals are brought forward and voting is conducted quickly and easily without debate. You don't want a governing board where the board trustees uh, are only on display for show and self-appearance. They elected you to be the voice of the people where it is the job to not only ask the hard questions, but challenge the discussions that are brought to our attention. Now add into the mix that this is Maine Township, Cook County, Illinois. <laughs> Cutting tax levies was not exactly in the vocabulary when we came in. And abating tax monies already taxed back to the taxpayers was historically non-existent. The story that if you cut the tax levy of Maine Township, homeowners and business owners, and abate back tax monies to their pockets, the township government will fall, that programs will not be funded, residents will suffer and so forth, was just that, a story, simply a fictional story. I am not impressed with, one, with what one calls himself or herself. Titles and affiliations change over time. I look to their conduct, their actions, and their decision. Illinois has today again lost significant population and that now it has been uh, reached at such a level where we lost one congressional seat in the U.S. House of Representatives. <laughs> and why? Well, home and business real estate taxes hold the major part of it. However, we at Maine Township did our part over these four years to help our state by financially responsible governance. In this way, we showed good example to the other 6,962 plus local government taxing bodies in Illinois. Month after month, which us as board members could admit, 
really came out to every, every two weeks. We had to do the balancing act of providing the services as called for by statute and funding all of our programs while also doing it in a financially efficient way for our main township homeowners and business owners who pay for it all. As your board, we write the checks, but the checks are funded by our taxpayers on whom we levy on their homes and businesses to pick up the tab. Some conflict was expected as this is Cook County. And a friend of mine warned me before, hey, you think what we went through in accomplishing a 5% reduction in the tax levy was tough? Wait until the budget comes up for discussion and vote. No truer words were ever spoken. Having advised that I would vote no to the increases proposed to the first budget, we eventually passed. Minutes before the meeting on the final vote, it hit and my life changed in an instant. But with a lot of support from my family and my friends, I stood on my no vote and then got through it all, continuing on to serve. As it was my intention to run again for a second term, then learning over Thanksgiving holiday that this was not in the stars, it became my goal to go out continuing to, to encourage our board to do our best for those who elected us, the residents of Maine Township. This included times to speak, times to step up, and times to be quiet. And we got the current abatement done, and the annual township meeting was conducted live just days ago at our township hall, thanks to a great job by our clerk. Uh, and, um, and we also passed our budgets and we concluded all of our business timely. The reformers, a title given by the late great attorney and writer, Robert Trisna, to trustees Claire McKenzie, Susan Sweeney and myself did in fact include really more individuals. That really wasn't fair. The reformers that got it done over these last four years, that being our main township staff, with hard work and dedication of the main township residents, it's to, it's to them, my fellow reformers, that I say nice job and thank you. The reformers also included those who reported to the public <laughs> on this board's actions and provided the board with factual data at its fingertips, including Jennifer Johnson at the Park Ridge Herald, uh, Advocate Chicago Tribune, Cal Skinner at the McHenry County blog, Attorney Robert Trisna, who wrote Watchdog Park Ridge, Ted Tabrowski at, at, uh, and all the people at Wire, Wire Points, and so many more. They helped this board in accomplishing great things and in stopping certain things from happening that weren't so great. Thank you for electing me to serve as your main township trustee for the opportunity and for the good memories including pastries at the swearing in ceremony, the selecting of a wine at a restaurant at one of our get togethers, hanging out over a beer at our first township Christmas party. I arrived late, but I had a good reason. And our dining get togethers at the township conventions, including that one excellent Italian restaurant in Springfield. I wish all of you Godspeed in all your future endeavors, both inside and outside of government service. Keep rocking.